Right, it's got to the point where I need a bit of a plan of what I'm going to build in the back of this. So I'm going to do a few sketches today, take a few photographs to make things a bit easier for me. Um, and work out where everything's going to go. Then I'm going to get it over to my mate Jake. He does some sketch up videos on YouTube at the moment, like tutorials, how to's. So he's going to help me out and put that all into SketchUp and give me a 3D digitally rendered plan of what we're doing here. Um, so yeah, that video will follow from this, probably on Jake's channel, but I'll pop something up so that everyone can have a look at it. Um, but yeah, today doing some sketches, taking some photos, getting stuff printed out so I can get some measurements and all that. Right, so just to get the measurements of all of this, I think it'd be good to have all this down. That means I can send it over to Jake easily and I can use it for the scale of my photographs or my uh, sketch ups, my sketches, whatever it's going to be. So I reckon the whole thing really is like a cuboid but with the edges. Hello. Alright, I come inside because they started cutting wood, chipping trees outside. That's not very good. There's probably a better view in here anyway. Right, so where was I? Inside of the van, for all intents and purposes, in this sense, is like a cuboid with the edges cut off. Or the, yeah, the edges cut off. Two edges cut off. So it looks a little bit like that. I think. So then we'll extrude that shape to the length of like the sort of living space. So I don't think it really matters. I don't think it really matters where the uh, about the sort of driving cab area because it's not really not area that we're going to build anything in. So I'm just not going to worry about that too much. Oh, look at that. All joins up. So yeah, all right. Oh, if I'm rubbing my hand. Go back and get a rubber now. Right. So then the other bit of this. There's a wheel arch. Two to... Five and a half. Cool, nice day. But it is a nice day. clean line. But yeah, okay, so there's a wheel arch there that we also can't build in. And I also might want to use for some of the measurements, like I was thinking about putting a bar between the two wheel arches for support. And then, oh yeah, one other thing. There's like a door on one side that goes up, like opens up most of the sides of it. So this door we also have to think about because like the bed ideally doesn't want to sit in front of it. 
So, then that door, this gets more and more, doesn't it? Now, I'm not gonna build anything underneath this door. Or like underneath the step even, sorry. So the steps just like, just don't think about it, you can't put anything on the floor there. Um, so yeah. And there's like a few, there's like little little tapers in the corner, but that'll probably be out here. So I went to the back of the van, I'll sort of think of as like dead space, I think. Um, but yeah, um, that's the size of the van. I'm gonna draw it all in black pen now. I think that'll make it look better. Well, I don't think it's pretty, but I've got all the uh, lines drawn and dimension lines drawn between them, so I know what I'm measuring. All these measurements around the wheel arch will help. Everything around here should help to get that step figured out. And it doesn't matter about the angle in the roof. Um, if I measure everything like the distance between the distance, the width of the roof, width to that first sort of right angle, that first angle and the width to the bottom, I should be able to figure it out myself. So yeah, I should do it. Right, I go outside and take some pictures of the, I want to take some pictures of the side of the van, take some pictures of the length of the van. Should make my life a bit easier. Um, just getting it all like digital and getting all the measurements worked out. So yeah, take my camera purely so I can film myself taking pictures because I could just take it from this phone. Um, but yeah, there's people cutting, people are still chipping up wood outside, so it's really loud. So, yeah. All right, come with me. Get a little photograph of the inside, but I think it's worth taking some bits out first. All right, so I've gone and popped all those on my computer. I find the best ones of these, pop them into Photoshop. Cool, let's make a new document. I make it landscape A4. Nice high res images. So I think for this, we'll just make it fill out the A4. It's that one then. So I want to get a picture with the door open and a picture with the door closed exactly the same. I'll turn the opacity down on that layer. That's weird. 
Hmm. Didn't think it would matter too much that if I took it from a slightly different angle. All right, I'm gonna go back out, put the camera on a tripod and take two more pictures. Right. It's actually so sunny, it's really annoying taking pictures of a white van. Um, but hey, better than raining. So, I've taken these two with a tripod on. And they're like perfect. So, I might as well just drag them both at the same time, because they should both be like on top of each other. Straighten the whole thing up. I reckon that's good. Well, hey. So now I've got two, I'll probably just print these out and trace them, but they'll fit nicely on A4. So any other thing was the picture of the back. Let's try with this one. Here's what I wanna do. Do the old opacity trick. What I hope to do is just line up this bottom bit. Bottom bit down here, the bottom of the bumper with the top of the roof. I think that's about right. So what I'll do now is another A4 piece of paper. Maybe this will work better like that. I'm going to duplicate that layer over to the new one. And then hide it on here. Then what we can do from there, duplicate this shot. It's actually a better shot. See if I can get it all to match up. See, it's a bit brighter. That'll do. Keep it the same size now. Move to the top of this bit of paper. Cool. We're printing, but I might have fucked up and done this way too high PPI. And that's gonna do it really slowly and use loads of ink. That's a lot of ink to use. On the other one, I've cut it out a little bit so it doesn't have to use as much ink on needless background. Right, so that's all my measurements done, roughly. Um, next up, I'll be getting some tracing paper, drawing the outlines of the van, all that sort of stuff, and getting it all down onto paper properly. And I can use this thing I've done today as a, a guide for how much space there is everywhere. Um, I've been doing a collaboration on this with my mate Jay. He's a designer and he does videos for Skillshare and videos on YouTube for how to use Google SketchUp. Um, he's gonna help me out. I'm gonna send him over all these all these drawings and stuff and hopefully from that he'll be able to put it into a 3D space uh, and cut it up for me basically. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Next video I'll be Next video, I'll be putting my design of where I want everything to go inside the van, so that'd be cool. Uh, if anyone needs, if anyone's doing a high ace and needs these measurements, then drop me a comment. I'll put, I'll put everything up onto a Google Drive at some point, but if this is helpful to you, let me know. Otherwise, we'll have digital stuff uh, coming soon, which I'll try and make public. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.